the Congressional Budget Office released its highly anticipated report on the American Health Care Act a short while ago. John Roberts has it and joins us now live from the White House. John. Uh, Dana, and I just want to flag you, too, that we're expected to hear from the OMB Director Mick Mulvaney and the HHS Secretary Tom Price outside the West Wing in just a couple of minutes, so please interrupt me when you see that coming. Three big numbers to keep in mind here from the new CBO estimate. First of all, $337 billion. That's the amount of money that will be saved between 2017 and 2026 by ending Obamacare subsidies. So Republicans will say... This is going to save an awful lot of money, and it's going to lower the deficits. But here's the bad numbers, at least for the Republicans. You'll hear Democrats talk a lot about this. Because of an end to Medicaid expansion and caps that will be implemented, the CBO estimates that 14 million more people will be without health insurance in 2018. And by 2026, that number will grow to 24 million, so that in total, 52 million people will not have health insurance by 2026, compared with 28 million who would have been without it if a Obamacare stayed in place. The other number to pay attention to, premium increases. Uh, the CBO estimates that a single person not in a group, and that means that a person who's not paying in through a you know group health insurance at their employer or something like that, will see premiums rise in the years 2018 and 2019 by 15 to 20 percent. But the CBO also says because of provisions to pay insurance companies for people in a high-risk pool kick in at 2020, the premiums will actually go down. Uh, the Speaker of the House Paul Ryan saying positive things about the CBO estimate. We'll see what the OMB director and the HHS secretary had to say. But the big caveat that the Republicans are putting out there right now is that this is phase one and that a lot of the cost savings items will not come until phase two and phase three. That's when they'll try to lower the price of prescription drugs, sell insurance across state lines, and also do things to try to lower the cost of health care in total. So that's a snapshot for you, Dana. We'll be hearing more about this in just the next couple of minutes. All right. Thanks, John. Thanks so much. Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price says the plan won't cost Americans more out of pocket. I firmly believe that, that, that nobody will be worse off financially in, this, in the process that we're going through, understanding that they'll have choices that they can select the kind of coverage that they want for themselves and for their family, not that government forces them to buy. So there's cost that needs to come down, and, and yeah. we believe we're going to be able to do that through this system.